Hello everyone, it is your favorite monkey baboon and today let's play some Satisfactory. I want to apologize if I sound like a little bit different or not very excited or anything. It's because I am, I think I have the cold or something, I don't know. I'm not feeling a 100% but I'll try to give very close to 100% for you guys today. So, a couple of things happened. As you can see some things are missing here. It's because I went ahead upgraded our hub to the highest tier we can Let's get over here as you can see tier 1 has been fully upgraded to hub upgrade 5 so we've got tier 1 and tier 2 tier 2 I've got ourselves a chainsaw and you, know, you have to get into the part assemblies over here jump pads could be really cool walkways I also want to get into and also personal storage is not that much of a concern for me and conveyor walls I wouldn't mind getting into that as well but that is not our thing for today. The other thing that what has unlocked for us after upgrading the hub is this, the space elevator. This thing is gigantic, okay? And there is literally no space over here in this area for us to put it down. And uh, I will show you guys the perfect spot I found, but first let's do some quick math, all right? So, Every extra uh, miner or extractor, let's just call it a miner because it's a miner MK1 and over here it says extract. I don't know what's the difference there. But anyways, as you can see, it mines 60 units of iron ore per second. Then it travels down a conveyor belt to a smelter, which can only take 30 ores per minute, but it produces 30 iron ingots per minute. And then if we go down here, to the constructor it can take 30 iron ingots per minute and it can only produce plates 15 plates every minute or so all right so we have a fully saturated line over here and a fully saturated line over here but as you can see it's it's a snail pace you know it is very slow and production is very slow so what we need to do is basically this one extractor or miner must have two smelters and for each smelter you need two constructors so it's going to be one two four all right and that got me thinking this space is not going to help us in any way whatsoever and we don't want to get into the factory part the factory factory my voice just disappeared there completely we want to get into the factory part of the thing so remember that math just keep it in your back of the mind let me show you guys quickly what are the plans for the action action plan plan of action is the term i was been looking for words plan of action is to plop down the space elevator in this giant crater as you guys can see i have laid down a bunch of foundations there is something i want to go grab there as well i don't just die trying to get down there but yeah, there's something I want to grab with you guys. Okay, there we go. But yeah, in this place, but this first floor, I'm going to call this a ground floor. It's actually another, the ground is below us, as you guys can see. Just want to grab the slug, pick it up. The yellow power slug. Okay, I don't know really what we can do. I think it's got something to do with research. Don't know. But anyways, this is going to be our ground floor. And let's go and look, place down the last remaining of those guys. All right, so this part is complete. This is going to be the ground floor where we put storage, just massive amount of storage. And I think I'm going to try to make it double up. You know, uh, you can have one storage bin or one storage unit container. You can uh, stack them on top of each other. All right, but I think too high is going to be enough. And this is more than enough space to park stuff. All right, and if I can quickly go to special space elevator, I don't have the materials, but you guys can see how large it is. It is gigantic. And to the left from on the blueprint, you can see there's three inputs. There's three on this side, there's three on the other side. This The space elevator takes like materials directly with conveyor belts into it. And then it does stuff. Okay, I, don't, I haven't gotten that far yet. In my other save file, I did... Uh, do I did get to it, but I haven't done anything with it. So we're basically at this almost at the same point 
And what I also want to do is this is going to be our like our headquarters, central HQ. Let's put it that way. And uh, we're going to have a couple of layers. And on top, we'll put the space elevator going upwards. So over here is going to be our production area. And further back that way is going to be our smelting area. So like I said, with the um, math kind of thing, I want one place to have smelting, you know, only smelting. Then it has to be brought over to here, which will be our production area. So if every ore smelted into like iron ingots, copper ingots and those things um, get carted or bust over here. This is going to be a production line of various items and things we need. And the thing is, it's not going to be a long factory. It's going to be a tall one. So when, once we fill up this area, we go up one, close it off and start and so on and so forth. So yeah, every line of iron ore or whatever we get, maybe we can do one floor only iron, one floor only copper, one floor this and that. I don't know. We will see how this is going to work. But today I want to get to the smelting part, to finish up a factory for smelting. So basically a smelting operations. And I'm going to show you guys what I have planned out already. And let's go over here. So remember the, um, which we call it this, the, this whole setup, like from ore to smelting. Yeah, I already set up sort of a test run just to show you guys how it works. The math, the whole math thing. And if we go over here, I think if we try to run, I don't think we are much faster. So for every extractor or miner, we need two smelters. And then from one smelter, we need two constructors. So over here, this is what I've done. This is how it looks like. And, ooh, not a slug. Let's grab that. While we're here, it's a green one. Hello, green slug. There we go. Can we get back on? Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, this is a bit of a boo-boo. Um, let's see if we cannot, you know, get up here again. Uh, foundations, ramp. Show me that ramp. There we go. That should be quite enough. All right. So I had to upgrade and all the things on the hub to get to the tier where we have the splitters. Okay. So your ore comes in, it gets split off into two smelters over here. And then they get cut off and then split it again into two extractors or constructors, actually. Yeah, two constructors. And then they get cut off into these massive containers. And these containers then um, merge into one and gets thrown into a storage unit like this. Now this thing is producing a lot more um, of these pipes than like a single standing setup we have back there. All right, so on the same side here, we have massive amount of plates. Well, not massive, but we have a lot of plates. Okay, so my idea is for this whole operation over here, this whole factory. What I was thinking of doing, let me just get up those ramps to show you guys. The um, smelters and the splitters. That's the only thing that's going to exist on this platform. And you guys can see it like it really goes a long way. And we can also double up on the um, layers as well, like the base floor or ground floor, first floor, second, third, whatever we fancy and whatever we need. So I think that is going to be awesome. And over here, if I can just show you guys, over here we have two more iron nodes. Two more. So that is more iron production right there. And then somewhere there's another limestone, or copper, actually, copper. Uh, that, there's our original copper production. It's going to turn around and face this way. It's going to get smelted and then cut it out of here. And then further down... There is coal, but I think we're going to set up a coal power plant completely on its own and its own thing. And yeah, I think that is going to be swell. And I think there is a vehicle or something we can get, which can drive around, which we can use to drive around. And over here, these last four blocks, uh, foundations, one, two, three, four, they are going to bus out everything to our production area, which is just over there. And then from our production area, 
or assembly plant it's going to go over to our headquarters for whatever reason we need the the mass storage and whatnot and yeah i think over there is the copper it could be limestone could be copper i don't know and yeah i think that is what is what we are going to do today i am quickly going to get rid of most of these things it's going to take a lot of inventory space i'm going to move some of these containers or maybe build new ones and just hand carry the items we already created to the storage location and then set up a couple of smelters ready to go it's just it basically it's got to be this an input with a splitter and two of these um, smelters and that's it it's, it's gonna stand up uh, I think we're gonna start on this corner and place them down this way and then flip them around you know leave one gap one space gap and then on this side looking this way they're gonna go down that way and so on and so forth or maybe just a little bit closer to this corner and yeah have like two rows going down this way and that way with some buses and things in the middle conveyor belts and then make a turn and a turn like a big u-turn and i think that is gonna be grand so let me get to that and i'll see you guys in a minute or maybe a second i don't know see you guys in a bit man oh man i gotta say this build took a little bit longer than I expected. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you guys can probably see that I have ripped out most of things, most of the things here. And we're not going to construct a space elevator today because we don't really have the materials. I kind of want to get a production line going, get the materials, build the space elevator, and uh, yeah, from there on, move along and build some other bigger things. So let's go over here. I want to show you guys what I have done. And yeah, there was nothing really else except for I've been upgrading or getting up in the tiers with the hub over there. Just finishing up on those things. So we have our two miners over here. And I was thinking of turning this, instead of a whole smelting factory, let's just make it the iron factory. You know, we've got two iron nodes sitting up there. There's two more here. I did scout ahead on that way, and there is, I think, two more over there, if I'm not mistaken, and it's just insane how much iron is in this area, and there's a couple of limestone and one copper node th that way and one copper node, well, over there, and then there's coal that way, but yeah, the sheer amount of iron in this whole area is, is just insane, it's... And the thing is, uh, I also noticed or read about somewhere, is the um, nodes are, well, they they constantly, they don't, oh, don't want to don't, don't wanna die down there. Don't want to, you know, end it all just yet. Ooh, that looks fancy. But, um, yeah, these nodes, they don't empty out. They are forever, which is awesome. Okay, so there's two... No, just just one yeah just one limestone over there and over here here is iron over there there's no more iron so this is i thought like let's just make this an iron factory you know let's just get that done out of the way and then we can move on to create other things other factories as well um i'm watching another youtuber John Bain. I don't know if you guys know him. He he's kind of the reason why I've been playing Satisfactory. He he really makes the game like pop out. A really really fun guy to watch. I would highly recommend watching his channel. And also Shade. You guys check out how he <laughs> how he utilizes jump pads and those things. I would highly recommend also his channel as well. Um, if you're into this kind of stuff. Anyways, uh, let's get back here on top and I will show you guys quickly what we have got here and what I'm also gonna do going to do we have to grab that thing up there um, then we are gonna switch on all the machines and see how it works hopefully four biomass burners these these there yeah okay biomass burners uh, four of them should be more than enough to run this little operation we got here and I think it's pretty good. It's pretty good what we have here. I think it's just a bit too much white space. 
you know, too much spacing around here. But I don't want to go ahead and rip them all out again. This is the, it would be the third time I would be ripping everything out. Um, I mean, this could move back one. This splitter over here. And, so, and if that moves back, all of these machines would move back one as well. But I, I don't know. I don't know. We, 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 we could double up on the stories, you know, the levels of the factory. And yeah, just do it in that order. So it would be a very elongated um, factory as well. Very long factory. And I've measured it out. We've got four storage units over here. Uh, I measured it out for each um, node, iron node. We utilize about seven foundations. So if we take it from this one over here, this machine, and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we would end up up until here with form um, two more nodes. So all those machines from from this end to that end is seven. I think it's seven. Yeah, it's seven for two nodes. So we can fit two more nodes in here and then that will be that then we can build another level and continue on this pattern just up upwards up and up and up so i think that is a good idea and what i was thinking on this side is uh ripping out maybe one or two of these foundations and then this foundations over here just extend them a little bit more this way and we can do the exactly the same with that setup over here for copper Think that will be a great idea just, just to get uh, like iron going and then copper and then somewhere else i don't know maybe down there or something we can use um just extracting limestone and converting them into concrete that's the only thing i think you need for limestone for but if there's anything else i don't think there's going to be anything else for concrete but if there is we can make a plan on some other place where we can make another factory that utilizes it utilizes concrete or limestone. Let's go ahead and switch on these machines and see if this works. So I'm just going to switch them all off and I want them all to start up the same time. Uh, like so and like so. I just plop these guys down. It's not it's not um, in a grid or anything. Switch that on. Switch that on. Uh, yeah, look at that capacity just shoot up every time. But there's a lot of machines, there's a lot of things going. Okay, so that is running. So this means those two should be starting up. Nope, 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 nope. There's already four connections there. So only three there. It's connected to that one. Damn it! Okay, so that will be going. So let's check out this one. How it goes. It clips a little bit through there, but there's there's no way. There's no way I, I could... I could probably turn it to face this way a bit more. But it would still have to wrap around this um, rock over here. Because I want to keep one space open to walk in between these areas. So, like we said, well, like I explained, for one extractor, you're going to need two um, smelters. So, there they go, they're starting up. And I think I asked these guys to make plates for us. So, we've got four constructors working on plates. All right, so that is going. And then the iron ingots get out. Or they, they come off the assembly line into these constructors. And they get turned into plates. And we will see, I think, two plates. There we go. So soon we will get, I think we can get upgrades for these constructors or something. I don't know if we can make them work faster. But yeah, so we have plates coming off over here. And... These four also making place for us. Okay. And this one should, there we go. There's the first of the iron. Iron ore coming out of here. And they're splitting up. 
getting to the smelter from the smelter they will move to these machines which will make rods for us iron rods and then at the end of these assembly lines for conveyor belts we have four storage units which will be for well obviously storing so oh, look at that look how beautiful that is man oh man i am so happy this is now in and it works. I think if we press P. Yeah. Okay, so if you press P. Let's. Come on. Uh, I'm pressing I here for inventory. There we go. So if we press P. Then we go into photo mode. Which is pretty cool, I guess. Let's go ahead and take our photo. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so I think that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on Satisfactory. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.